Hi, I'm going to demonstrate some of the features of the Zernike panel in Interfringe. We're going to open a blank Zernike panel. This is uh, one with zeros in all the um, for all the terms. This is an um, annular panel, so I can add a central obstruction, which uh, results in somewhat different polynomials and, and not exactly the same um, functions, but they're analogous. So spherical aberration is still spherical aberration, for example. I'm going to just add a little bit of spherical. Um, I'm sorry, a little stig and maybe a, a little bit of spherical also. And um, let's look at the wavefront that we just um, have specified. This this is the um, is a plot of a wavefront that corresponds to just two Zernike terms, any number of Zernike terms, and any magnitudes in these um, uh, for the terms. It can be visualized in this way, and and uh, it's a very handy way to see what the different Zernike polynomial terms are. They correspond to um, to compensated aberrations. So, for example, the spherical aberration is compensated by a certain amount of defocus in order to minimize the RMS value of the aberration. Each of the terms here corresponds to RMS contribution across the surface. So, um, 0 0.2 waves RMS astigmatism. Or 0 0.1 wave RMS spherical aberration, which I believe is something like 0.35 waves um, or so, peak to peak, peak to valley. All right. Um, the Zernike panel has has um, the ability to save the file, save the Zernike file. So we're going to um, go ahead and save this one. Now we've saved these terms, so if we wanted to re, uh, revisit them, we can just open the file, open the Zernke file. This is especially handy if the Zernke polynomials have been fit to a surface, rather than being specified manually this way. Um, in addition, we have the ability to plot a uh, wavefront and a surface. We can plot a surface here. Surface, you have to tell the program what um, what the uh, parameters of the surface are. In this case, this is a reflection interferogram, so it's two waves of, of uh, wave front for every wave of surface. And um, so we have a plot now of the surface, and, and it's in microns instead of waves. Um, and um, in addition to that, we have um, the ability to create synthetic interferograms. So here's an interferogram um, which has got zero tilt, so it's, um, it looks like that. If I add a little bit of tilt, it looks more conventional in terms of what an interferogram looks like. And um, that looks like this. In addition to static interferograms, we can create video interferograms. And the way this works is a uh, the number of frames that you specify are created, and there's a phase shift in between them. So the phase shift we're going to specify here is 0.1 wave, and So now we've saved that. In addition to that, we can, uh, it's taking a minute or two to write all those frames. In addition to that, we can calculate the point spread function for a wavefront with this much, um, with these aberrations. You can see the uh, point spread function. And we can see what a star test would look like with that. Um, with that amount of uh, error. So that's what it would look like in a telescope with that wavefront. And we can uh, 
Also calculate the modulation transfer function. In this case, the x and y directions are, are uh, uh, the same in terms of the unobstructed perfect system because the aperture is circular. We can, um, we can calculate um, seidel aberrations from these given Zernike aberrations. And you can see what the results are there. Um, we can um, create a set of reference Zernike polynomials. And those can be used to subtract from the um, current set. And if that's, if that's done, for example, if we set um, um, a conic, and I'll just go ahead and use this one. Uh, we set a conic. Um, then if I click this, it shows the difference between what we have here and what we have um, and what we've specified as our target or reference. All right. Um, this concludes the demonstration of the Wernicke panel. If um, you're interested, there are other features of this program documented in other videos. Thank you.